Welcome to another CodeSwag software development tutorial. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to use the Ion Skeleton Text component to create skeleton UI pages. Now, I don't know about you, but I much prefer video tutorials where someone explains whatever concept for me rather than reading some verbose documentation. So for those who are like me in this regard and much prefer to be spoon-fed, open wide and say ah. First, I'm going to explain what skeleton pages are and why we use them. But if you want to just cut right to the chase and get to the code, click on the timestamp in the description below. So what are skeleton UIs? Skeleton UIs act as placeholders for content before it loads. This is a very common pattern in many modern applications. I'm sure you've seen them in the Facebook app, for example, and they're becoming more and more common. In many cases, they're completely replacing loading spinners. UI skeletons are also known as skeleton pages or ghost elements. So that begs the question, why do we use UI skeletons? Well, they instantly populate your application pages with content rather than first displaying a loading indicator and then serving content once it's loaded. This makes it appear as if your application is loading faster, improving what is known as perceived performance, or how fast the app feels to users. So the actual time that it takes to load the content remains the same as when using a loading indicator, for example, but because the skeleton page somewhat resembles the loaded content, it gives the illusion of faster performance. Okay, so we know what ghost elements are and why we'd want to use them in our Ionic 6 apps. Now the question is, how do we implement UI skeletons in Ionic? That's elementary, my dear Watson. Since version 4.1 of Ionic Framework, Ionic has a dedicated Ion Skeleton Text component. Let's get our hands dirty and dive into some code. Okay, so go ahead and download the demo project using the link in the description. In order to successfully do this, you need to have your Ionic development environment set up. So if you don't, please click on the link showing at the corner of your screen for a tutorial with step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. Once you have downloaded the project, open a command line terminal and navigate to the project folder, then run the command npm install to install all the project dependencies. Then finally, when all of that is done, you want to open your project in your code editor of choice. I'm going to be using VS Code. Okay, so we have our project downloaded and open in Visual Studio Code. And we want to navigate to the folder source, app, and home. So let's open home.html and home.page.ts. Uh, home okay, so if we go into the HTML template file, you can see that um, we have our header here with the title of the page, Skeleton UI. And inside Ion Content, we have a list. So we have an Ion list and we are dynamically generating Ion items um, by looping through this uh, items array. Right, so with each item, we have an avatar and we have an iron label inside our iron label we have an h2 header and then we have this uh, subtitle um, our website and then we have this lorem ipsum text and this item will be dynamically generated based on the values coming from this array so if we go to home.page.ts we can see uh, it's a very simple uh, TypeScript file. We have this ng on init function. So this runs every time that we initialize the page. 
So every time that we initialize the page, we're going to run this set timeout function um, after 2.5 seconds. And the set timeout function will simply populate the items array. Here's the empty items array. So it's going to populate it with the values, tutorials, courses, MacBook covers, etc., etc., And these just stand for items that are sold on the Kotswag website. So basically, we'll have one item for tutorials and then another iron item for courses, etc., just like that. Uh, so yeah, let's run this code in our browser and check it out. Okay, so while in the project folder in our command line, we're simply going to run Ionic Serve. Okay, so it's open in our browser. There's nothing for 2.5 seconds. And then after 2.5 seconds, our array is populated and these are the results. So we have our iron list. Here's our avatar, our title, the subtitle, and the lorem ipsum text, All right? And we have a, a header here saying skeleton UI. So that's basically the application. Um, if you're wondering how I got to the screen, um, initially uh, it's like that. So I pressed Control Shift I on Windows or Command Shift I on a Mac, and you want to click on this little device icon. So this will toggle the device and you can come up here and select um, any device size you want. So that's how we get this nice looking mobile uh, frame. Okay, so that's it for the basic code. Let's go back to our code editor. Okay, so traditionally what happens in an application is you have a spinner. So let's uncomment this code. Um, this code is very simple. We have a span that uh, contains an iron spinner and the iron spinner will display only if our items array is of length uh, only when it's uh, zero or less. All right, this is so here it's saying if it's greater than zero and then we have this not operator. So when it's not greater than zero. So while the, uh, so the spinner is only going to show while our array is empty. So if we press Control S to save or Command S on a Mac and go back to the browser, and if we refresh in our browser, you'll see we have the spinner displaying for the 2.5 seconds, and then um, everything comes up as expected. So this is the, the more traditional way of um, having our loading screens. So now let's take a look at uh, using UI skeleton. Okay, so back in the code, we want to re-comment this and scroll down here and comment out this div from line 27 to line 38. So basically we have this div that is again conditionally showing so long as our items array is of length zero. And here we are generating uh, seven uh, ion items. So we have this ng4 and uh, this predefined array so that we generate a set number of items um, because I looked at how many items we'd need to cover the whole uh, page. So how many items to roughly cover um, these, right? So what happens is uh, if we scroll uh, like so, so here we have our avatar with an image inside, right? And then when we are using our skeleton pages, so we do the same thing, we create our avatar, but instead of putting an image inside, we put in this ion skeleton text uh, component, right? And then we also uh, pass in this option for having it animated. So that's gonna create this sort of shining effect on the uh, skeleton text. And if we scroll down, so here we have our iron label with our header, our subheading, and our text on the inside. So we have the same thing. We have an H3 here. Um, actually, that's a bit of a difference because it, it has H2, but not much of a difference, right? And then here in our sub, we have our subtitle, and then as we say have the same um, paragraph element, but then inside, instead of having uh, the actual subheading, 
we have ion skillet in text we pass in the animated option to everything and what differs here is we have this uh, width uh, the style with the width being spe specified so this is inline CSS if you wanted you could uh, remove this not have this here but actually place it in in the SCSS file that would still work so long as you're uh, applying a class or an ID so that you target each specific one. Um, but this iron skeleton text, so it's going to be 15%, a width of 15%. So that means it's going to take up 15% of the uh, total screen width, right? And then have, we have this one that's 25 and this one that's 85. So these widths, what they're doing is they're trying to basically approximate this the difference in length that we have for the header and then the subheading is a little bit longer than the header but shorter than the paragraph and then we have the paragraph which is the longest so that's what we're doing here with with this 15 percent 25 percent and 85 percent so basically that's how we use iron skeleton text we can choose to make it animated or not animated and we specify a width right and we also want to enclose it in the different things that we have so for the avatar we're going to have our iron skeleton text inside that for our header we're going to have it inside that for our paragraph it's going to be inside that and um, yeah basically that's how this is implemented so let's press command s to save and head back to the browser so back in the browser let's refresh and you can see we have our ghost element there showing uh, 2.5 seconds is a bit too quick, so let's change that quickly. Okay, so home.page.ts, let's make this uh, 6 seconds. So 6,000 milliseconds, control S to save. So back in the browser, and you can see this is the animation where it's sort of shiny, right? Let's refresh again. So we can see our avatar here, our header, and this is 15%, 25%, uh, 85%. All right. So basically, in a nutshell, that's how we create UI skeletons or skeleton pages or ghost elements in Ionic 6 using the Ion skeleton text element. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like this video, share it with a friend, and hit the subscribe button to subscribe to CodeSwag for more Ionic 6 tutorials. You can support this channel by heading over to our website, codeswag.net, where you can buy some awesome developer merchandise. Or you can also become a patron on patreon.com and enjoy awesome perks like early access to our content, among other perks. See you in the next tutorial.